Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 Framework tutorial. This is our part number 66. Inside this video, we will continue our CRUD application and inside this we will see all about saving data, flash message and redirection. So if I back to browser, so here is the layout what we have so far created. This is for the list devices and this is for the add device. So when we submit any data from this form, let's say we are passing name and a status that we need to access and save that value inside this devices table. So back to editor, here is the layout what we have created for the add devices page. Inside this layout we have a name field and a, and a status field. So here we have the name attribute and status attribute. So we need to access this value. So back to device controller. So inside last video, we had discussed about this store method. Inside this store method, we have a request instance. So by the help of this request instance, we accessed all the posted form data values. So what I will do, let's say that we are going to save our data inside our devices table. So here we have our device model loaded. So scroll down, let's say that device equals to new and device. So we have created an instance of that model, let's say that device, here we have the table column name as name, if we back to structure here we have the name, so device name equal to request and here this is the name and this is the name of our form data attribute name. Here it is. Back to controller. Again let's say device status table column name equal to request and here we have the status which is coming from our form. So back to layout and here is the name attribute. So successfully now we have set all these two values inside this instance. Now we have to save so let's say device save method. So successfully now we are saving our data. So if I save all these changes back to browser, go here, reload this page. Let's pass some dummy values. So device one status is active. Click on submit. So here we have some error that is column not found, unknown column save in field list. And I think that here it's not save, actually it's status. So if we save, go and reload this page. So let's pass device 1, status is active, click on submit. So here we are getting a blank page, go inside this table. And inside this table as we can see that we are getting a single row data. So successfully now we are able to save our data from this form to our database table. Now this time we want a flash message as well as a redirection. So back to editor. So here setting flash message request session flash method and inside this we need to pass a key and a value. So here inside this key let's say that we are setting our success message inside this success key and here let's say device has been created. So successfully now we have set our flash message now next we want a successful redirection. So let's return, redirect, we have two options to redirect so we are going to use the first and simply let's a device. So successfully we are redirected on this device page means device route and this device route is calling our index method. Again back to development server, close here, let's open php, artisan, route list. And here inside this route list, 
as we can see when we call via get request type to this route device then it will call the index method of device controller so back to editor and when we go inside this device controller index method it is calling crud.index it, it means we have the blade template file that is index.blade.php so back to resources folder views folder crud here and inside this we have index.blade.php so either we can write let's say our flash message to receive flash message message code inside this or simply we can put inside this layout so that the receiving flash messages should be globally used inside this application so what I will do inside this container simply let's say we are going to use if session here we will use the has method firstly we are checking that if we have the flash message with this key called success so we need to go inside this block and then we need to receive so let's say div here we need to use some boot subclasses that is alert alert success and inside this if suppose we have any message inside this key so simply we need to print that so this is the receiving code of flash message so when we save all these changes go and reload this page so let's say that we are going to create so first of all we need to restart our development server so php artisan serve started go and reload this page now when we pass let's say device 2 status is active click on submit so as we can see we are getting a flash message something device has been created but actually I think bootstrap classes are not working so what I will do go here and simply search for bootstrap 3 alerts so clicking on this link of w3schools.com so here to get this success message actually we need to use alert alert hyphen success so I think that the same classes actually we have used and here we have a spelling mistake so if I save go and reload this page again click on our device let's pass one more device that is device 3 status is inactive click on submit so device has been created so here if I back to editor go inside the store method so by the help of this save method we are saving our data inside our database after that we are setting our flash message and redirection on the listing page and successfully on the parent layout means inside this main layout we have received and displayed our flash message so successfully guys inside this video we have completed save data flash message and redirection so in the next video we will see the data listing from this let's say from our database table the data listing from this table to our list page because right now these value means this value is a static row value so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day